Welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial on locating standardized tests and measures. After viewing this tutorial, you'll be able to define tests and measures in the context of academic research, describe common permissions associated with tests and measures, and locate specific tests and measures using selected resources. To begin, we need to familiarize ourselves with some important definitions. In the context of academic research, Tests and measures are standardized methods used to understand trends and variables. They can be used for research, diagnosis, and assessment. Example methods include questionnaires, inventories, and scales, and they are commonly used in social sciences and health-related fields. We also need to understand the types of tests and measures commonly available and their associated permissions. The first type of tests and measures are called commercial or published. Commercial tests are ones that are owned by commercial publishers and often have to be purchased. This means that the library will often not be able to access the test even with interlibrary loan. The second type is non-commercial or unpublished. These are tests and measures that can be found in journal articles and dissertations. Depending on the test, Non-commercial ones may require permission from the author or publisher, but they may be free to use. Being aware of these differences is important as we begin to look for tests. Now let's imagine that we are reading a journal article and we find that it cites the Wexler Intelligence Scale for Children, 4th edition. We want to learn more about this test and see if we can find it. One database that is helpful for locating these resources is called APA Psych Tests. This database includes detailed records on tests and measures and includes some full versions of these tests as well. To access this database, we are going to start at the library homepage. Then we are going to select the blue Databases button. From here, we can either search for the database alphabetically by selecting the link for A or we can search for the database by title. Once in the database, we can begin our search. When we are searching for a known test, we can enter its full title in the search box and select the search button. We see that there are various versions of this test. This is common, so we want to make sure that we select the exact test that we are looking for. The first page that we come to is the detailed record page. This page includes helpful test information, including its description, when it was created, and what construct it tests for, and its reliability and validity. Validity is whether a test is measuring what it is supposed to measure. Reliability is whether the test can be reproduced and have similar results. If we want to reuse this test, this area can be extremely important. We must use the test exactly if A, the test has been validated against other outcomes and you want to claim that those outcomes are also the case for your sample, or B, you want to compare your results to those from other studies using the test. This page also shows if the test is commercial or not and if there is a fee associated with the item. For this item, there is a fee, so the publisher would need to be paid in order to have the full test materials, such as a scorecard and testing directions. There are some tests in APA Psych tests that are free and include all the needed information. Now, let's imagine you want to know a little more about the test and what other scholars are saying about it. A database called Mental Measurements Yearbook can be really helpful for this purpose. We can access this database in the same way we access psych tests by going through the database button on the library homepage. We are once again going to search for the WISC-4 test by name. The detailed results here give us more information about the publisher, how long the test takes, and what the price is for the test books and answer sheets. We are also given a detailed review of the test from a university professor. Finally, if you are still having trouble locating your test, you may want to do a Google search for it. Sometimes authors list their tests on personal websites and you are able to get them that way. In this video, you learn to define tests and measures, understand common test and measure permissions, 
and use resources to locate specific tests. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have other questions, please refer to our ever-expanding How Do I page or use our Ask a Librarian service.